Check out the highlights. It all started in mixed doubles. You said it yourself, Jan, Mike, you like the combo of Stevie Johnson and Jen Brady. I did like that combo. They both served well and executed well from the baseline. They were both moving pretty well at the net, but those big forehands starting to kind of find their mark in this match here. Coach Ricky Leach did the lineup and felt like this is, might be the, the one to really watch, putting it first. They get but the, the OC break. breakers get the win. Yeah, they get the break in the seventh game, and here they do, they serve it out. Brady hitting so big all day long. They have a 5-3 lead. Then we go into women's doubles, and, and, and from the beginning, the women's doubles for the Chicago Smash, that is their best squad right there. Absolutely, Chicago Smash, subbing, immediately subbing in Bethany Maddox-Sands. She's a fantastic doubles player and such amazing energy out there. Look at that play on that forehand up the line. That was a big deciding point, and the Smash took the first five deciding points in this match. Smash up 4-2 here. Breakers get that hold, but the Smash would eventually serve it out, and it's another deciding point. That forehand goes long. We are at eight games apiece going into the third set. Here comes Stevie Johnson. Here comes the, this gigantic forehand of Stevie Johnson. He had a clear strategy he wanted to employ against Brandon Nakashima, the rookie standout of this season. That was trying to get the ball into the, into the forehand side over there, into that corner, and then rip forehands. Saw some gamesmanship from Stevie Johnson. He won a couple of deuce points to get those two breaks in the 5-1 win. Yeah, a couple second serve, huge returns on the forehand wing, gets the 5-1 win. He's pumped because he lost to Brandon the last time they played. And then women's singles, it was Sloan Stevens to start, but Jen Brady was amazing all day long. And Jennifer Brady just playing such awesome tennis right now, finding the range on that forehand, moving extremely well, staying in these rallies against Sloan until she finds the right ball. That was a great backhand put away on that one. So here comes Jeannie Bouchard. We've seen this before, inheriting a 3-1 deficit. But I don't think Brady noticed anything different on the other side of the net. She just kept wailing away at the forehands. And Jennifer Brady doing what a, a good tennis player does and just playing the ball, staying in the moment. Fantastic tennis from him. They win 10 Her. out of those next 12 games, both in the men's and women's singles. They have a huge lead going into men's doubles. It was King and Rom, and Stevie stayed on the court, this time playing with Austin Krychek. And Orange County unable to come through this match, but it didn't really matter with, with Jennifer Brady and Stevie Johnson's amazing singles, putting them so far ahead. Here's set point, they win the set 5-4, and that means we go into extended play. They would need to win seven straight games. They only get one. Krychek holds, and they win 23-16. And here's how it looked. First two sets, they split, and then the difference was the singles. Stevie Johnson, Jen Brady, they took them home today.